होगा Hey guys, so we're in the car right now and we're going to be heading to Monkey Island and when I was in Canada and I know that I was going to go to Vietnam, I had two things on my list that I wanted to visit. I wanted to go to Halong Bay and I wanted to go to Monkey Island. I couldn't go to or we couldn't go to Halong Bay because I wanted to do the candlelit dinner in the caves, but when we got here and we tried booking it, they said that it was all booked out. So yeah, if any of you guys want to go to the candlelit dinner in the caves in Halong Bay, book way beforehand. I would say like six weeks beforehand if you want to spot. I'm like super excited for Monkey Island right now, and it's really funny because Andis' uncle kept like warning us all the way till we got into the vehicle. Actually, he was like, "Make sure you hold your stuff really tight. Don't bring your cell phone out, because like these monkeys on the island, they're not in cages, which." I really like. Um, they can roam free all they want, but then that means you have the risk of them coming up to you. And apparently, they're known to steal food right out of your hands or steal your glasses. Like they're really fast, and I think they work in teams. That's what Andis was saying. So I don't know. I think it's gonna be a really thrilling experience. And yeah, I made sure that my phone is attached to a dog chain so that. The monkeys can't really take my phone out of my hands. I mean, they can try, but I don't think they'll be that successful. And if cousin also told us that the monkeys can climb up right onto your shoulder. But yeah, I think this is going to be a really fun experience. It's definitely new. Like, when do you ever get a chance to like, you know, be on the same island as monkeys and have them roam around you, right? And if you guys are wondering where I got this shirt when we were at Benton Market. Um, and this mom is like the queen of bargain because this shirt was supposed to be, I don't know, like six, seven dollars. And she kept bargaining with them and they actually sold it to me for approximately three dollars fifty cents. And like, I love it so much. So it's like, it says Vietnamese coffee. And then at the very, very bottom, it says Vietnamese coffee in Vietnamese. And it's just super super cute and for $3.50 you can't really go wrong with it. So to get from Ho Chi Minh to Monkey Island, uh, we rented just a normal vehicle. It's like a four-seater and it costs approximately um, $60 to get there and back. And so since we're dividing by the three of us, it's only approximately $20, which is not bad at all. We don't know how much the entrance fee for Monkey Island is, but I'll let you guys know. So to get on Monkey Island, we have to get on a ferry. So yeah. Look at how many people there are right there. Crazy. Oh, we're going on this one. So yeah, we're all on the ferries. There's motorcyclists, um, there's other big vehicles. And then if we look, we can go up there and sit on those chairs as well and look out. So we're at Monkey Island right now and you can see that the monkeys are let loose. And there's like monkeys everywhere. It's awesome. <laughs> Right. Oh, that one just jumped. Ah, I'm scared. Because they're fighting. Saw some monkeys fighting, so I'm running our way slowly. Leo and Andes are still behind me watching the monkeys i'm just too scared right now so yeah he has a hat so i guess it's still from someone so people are feeding the monkeys even though you're not supposed to do that like they're saying on the speakers like do not feed the monkeys but we've been seeing a lot of tourists and locals just feeding the monkeys and I don't know how I feel about that to be honest it yeah so that one has a baby <laughs> 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 
So those are crocodiles, and I think they're just sleeping. So I don't know how I feel about this place to be honest. At first I wanted to be here because I heard the animals were not caged. So it sounded like less animal cruelty. So I really wanted to go here. But now coming here and seeing how the locals and tourists um, interact and how they treat the monkeys here, it kind of makes me really upset. Just because there was a lady earlier and she was wearing high heels and she didn't see, but she stepped on a baby monkey's tail and like it squealed and then it ran off. And like, I don't know, that broke my heart, you know? And then as I was standing with a group of people, I heard one of the guy, like, cause they were trying to find any food they can to feed the monkeys. And one of the guy, he even laughed and he was like, oh, why don't you throw him some of your birth control pills? And it's like, you don't joke about like throwing birth control pills to monkeys. Like, I don't know, it doesn't seem as, humane as I thought it'd be and it's just not very ethical and it's I don't know I don't think I would ever return here again to be honest but that's how I personally feel yeah so we're leaving now and yeah as I'm thinking about this it's like what was I really expecting what was I thinking because obviously this is a tourist place so I don't know, I think I should have gave it more thought before coming here. I mean, I like seeing the monkeys, don't get me wrong, but I just wish people treated them a bit better and with more respect. That's all I would want for this place, but yeah. Mmm, yeah. I don't think I like this place very much. So we're at the beach now and like, we have little hammock chairs to sit in and there's like food everywhere. This is our view right now. Yeah, this is our view in front of us, which is really nice because we get to eat food here and just look out into the ocean. It's nice that you can even lay in these. Yeah. We just ordered a couple of seafood dishes. This is like ramen with um, squid and a bunch of seafood and then that's fish soup right there. And Leo ordered some fried rice, but we're just waiting for it. So his rice just came and Leo doesn't like eating seafood. So there's um, just vegetables in it. And then I ordered lemonade and then he ordered Vietnamese coffee and then the rest are just the normal drinks. So this is tofu with like a sugary syrup and it's served really warm and yeah. So we're heading home now and it was really nice going to the beach. The breeze was really, um, it felt really good and the food was pretty cheap overall. Like each dish that you saw earlier costed approximately $4 or less and then the dessert tofu drink was only 50 cents. So like for $16, it made four people super full and there was even leftover food as well. So that was really good. And it was just, I don't know, it was very relaxing. I liked it. And I think it made me feel better for sure after the Monkey Island because I was pretty upset leaving Monkey Island because like still thinking back that lady who stepped on that baby monkey's tail, sure she didn't really notice but it was squealing under her foot like if you're gonna go to a place where there's animals let loose like that at least watch your step and watch where you're going like thinking about it just oh, makes me so angry and yeah i don't know i don't think i'll ever turn back to monkey island but yeah hmm. i'm just glad we got to go to the beach after and just relax and you know Clear my mind a little, yeah. Hey guys, we're at the glasses store right now and Andis just got a new pair of glasses. They're working on it right now. 
he got it for $30 in total and they're prescripted and they're dual lens. And they said it will be ready in 10 minutes, which is like pretty amazing. So Leo and I, Leo and I are really tempted to get our own like prescripted glasses because it's so cheap, it's $30. And like for Andeth, it also includes like attachment um, sunglasses lens on top of that as well. And like getting it like only takes 10 minutes. So I mean, that's a lot better than most places than $30. That's like way cheaper than what we can get in Canada. So I think we're gonna come back here and get a couple of our own as well. Yeah. Yeah, these are his new glasses and I think it looks pretty good. And he's happy with them. This place seems really popular. This is the crab noodle soup, and then they gave us this. I don't know what it is. How does it taste? Good? Is it sweet, sour, hot, spicy? It's a gelatin. It's a gelatin. He says that the soup tastes like gelatin. No, it's like oh. gelatin. It's oh, it's like gelatin because of how thick it is. Yeah. But is it good? What's the flavor? Spicy, sour? Crab. Oh, it tastes like crab. Awesome. So I just got this for 50 cents. It's black soy milk and I've never heard of black soy milk before so that's really interesting. So when I opened it, it's white in the inside and not black. Oh, like black so it's just probably the black like soy beans right there but the drink turns out to be white. It's really sweet and it just tastes like soy milk so yeah. So yeah, for $30 I included that attachment lens, and yeah, do you want to try and take it off? Yeah, so that's a really good bargain, I'd say, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a magnet? That's cool. 